Good morning, everybody. This is Christy from the Be The Light YouTube channel. I thank you so much. You know what? I just caught myself what I was doing here. Um, I am so used to saying, Be The Light. And I just caught myself in action there. Um, I am now the intimate warrior. <laughs> um, Wow, I apologize for not catching myself earlier. So um, now I'm trying to go back to, you know, I wish I had made, um, the date of which I changed it. So let's see, God gave me the name on September the 14th. Um, and let's see if I can go to, I made the image kind of like first details on the date of that, October the 6th. So, um, I'm probably going to say, I probably changed things slowly beginning with, um, my YouTube channel. Um, in which I did first and then I went to, it could have been the week of the first week of October. I believe I changed it first here on, um, YouTube and, um, I changed it here a few days ago on, um, or I changed it a few days ago on Instagram only and no Instagram. And then I moved it to my, um, not my personal page, um, but my kind of like business page that they have, um, about the same time. But anyway, that's not important, but I haven't really been speaking it as often as I should be my and that's something by me triggering it here bringing that into my awareness I am now implementing um the laws of ribbing and sewing or the laws of attraction whichever it is that uh you resonate more with um and that's going to tie in now with my video a little bit um with what I'm about to speak about, what is actually happening energetically, yet I'm kind of going to explain it, of course, within my own experience. Um, you know, we are upgrading um, to live within the heart of spirit. And I hope I haven't done this in the video. I spoke with my mom about this today. Um, by tapping into the heart, we are more able to associate spirit and ourselves. Now, I know that we all have been trying to resonate with love on a daily basis. Um, we're thinking better we're feeling better, we're using greater words, and we're using greater actions. This takes work with um, a lot of thinking and matching our emotions, thoughts, and actions, which means because we are human beings, we have to trigger our brain to remind ourselves. And it's got, gotten easier with myself because I have learned to discipline myself to resonate with love and to be love and to observe only. And it does get easier and it's kind of like clockwork. It's kind of like breathing now, but I have times where I kind of slip back. Um, not really, you know, drastic slip ups, but I'm being human, okay? I'm being human, and no one expects us to not 
be human. The human person still who is a resonation of love will observe their own mistakes as well and know and realize in the next time that this cycle repeats itself that you catch it and are not repeating this karma. I hope that makes sense. Okay, so I, I ended up pushing pause here and going back to um, a recording that I, I made earlier today. And I have spoken about this, um, what it means to actually live within the divine heart, the sacred heart, um, and embody Christ consciousness and um, love. And so I'm not going to repeat it. If you need to, go back and check that video, uh, which means I will probably upload this after that video. And um, I think I have it labeled um, Working From The Heart. Um, I might change it to Working From The Heart and um, saying something about embodying love or something like that so you can... Um, kind of understand more and catch that video more but um there's something that took place today that i ended up feeling this i like to call them tickles but you know it's tingling um it's light that's um on the crown and i felt it enter into my crown filter down into my throat into my thymus and into my heart and i felt it move out into my right hand. Um, instantly, I got an awareness and intuition, a guidance system that it was about manifestation. Um, to truly be able to manifest our life's purpose, our heart must be in it. And if you have chosen a life of service, serving the divine, um, then your purpose is going to enter into your heart. And I believe that was just the tip of opening up to my purpose here. We have to be able to catch what is happening. Catch it. Embrace it. Understand it. Now let me go back to the beginning of my video where I caught myself saying be the light in my videos instead of this is the intimate warrior. Um what is my what is my opening thing conversation now and I don't even remember what it is at this very moment how odd is that um, okay so I think I usually say uh, good morning or good afternoon this is Christy from the intimate warrior YouTube channel thank you so much for stopping by and as always I send you love I am now manifesting my purpose. <laughs> um, so I want you, if you have had that type of feeling today, because as I am making this video, it is the 1010 gateway. We are connected now to the higher realms. And now the angelic realm is the seventh dimension and above. So you can be working and tapping with um, beings, the seventh dimension and above, that pertain to who you are and your purpose. There's no limit to where you can be and connect with. And um, I wouldn't worry about where you're working from or who you are actually working with don't beat yourself up by asking questions about who are you who are you who are you i don't know all the names that i've been associating with 
I trust that it is light. Um, I know it is light. And um, I know I'm in the right direction. Your heart will guide you in the right direction. So we are supposed to be able to learn to manifest properly. And when our heart, again, is centered in, in rotating with the universe, of course, all of our other chakras have to be in sync with our heart. When our heart is strong and functioning, it means that we have at least worked with our seven chakras and opened them up. And, and this is why some people can manifest one day and then can't do anything again. It's not in sync. They have not lined up. They have not cleared themselves. And that's why I don't press laws of attraction. Hey, you can, or manifesting anything in your life on my videos. I don't talk about that. Because regardless if you try and try, I can explain to you over and over again. It takes a thought and an emotion and an action. You're not going to get it. Even if your heart is in it, because the heart is always going to fall back down because of the past. And your past is always stored in all of the other chakras. And so what you are going to manifest, if you're trying to manifest love and you have pain associated with your root chakra because someone abandoned you and you haven't healed from that, you're not going to manifest love. If you're someone who's trying to manifest abundance and wealth and you haven't um, healed your, um, it could be your, your solar plexus, it could be your sacral, it could be your root. If you haven't um, found stability, control in those areas, you are not going to be able to manifest that into your life. It's going to come and go and come to come and go. And now I have been able to manifest money from time to time when I needed it because that is just the universe or God, um, source, whatever you resonate with, um, trying to teach you that it's already been in your field because you have done certain amounts of clearing, but yet you can't continuously manifest it because you haven't eliminated past buildup or past karma. And you don't trust in what you're manifesting. There's still a doubt. When you don't believe in yourself, when you don't believe in your divine temple, you, there's no way we can manifest. So I stopped. Over a year ago, I stopped watching those laws of attraction or manifesting videos and focused on my heart, my own journey. In my purpose and I knew that in time as long as I stayed in alignment with my purpose my highest purpose whatever is due me is coming because in the beginning God has promised me great abundance and my birthright has great riches attached to it all of us have this we all have a great lineage that is attached to wealth, abundance, freedom, security, love, in an infinite amount of possibilities. It's 808, by the way. I love when that lines up. <laughs> um, so I think that's all that I want to talk about when it comes to the being able to manifest. You will get to a state of manifestation, instant manifestation, quite possibly. Um, um, being able to create. This is the part about creating your life. And we're going to be able to feel this creation. Um, and something came into my awareness that I thought I should express or share with you all. 
Um, a couple of things. And I wrote down one thing, and then I'm going to just read it. And this is about our experience here in our awakening process. Because I get so many questions about, well, why don't people... If everyone is experiencing energy, we all are, and God is always trying to work with every single one of us. Only those one who believe in what is taking place, meaning energy, the rotation of the planets, and how it works within you and the chakra system, do you receive something according to that? And... If you believe in that and understand the process of what you're going through, you will receive according to that understanding. Understanding is a belief. I'm clearing here, and I apologize. Um, so I'm in the process of clearing something here. Um, and so what I have, have written is, some experience negative effects while others will experience positive effects. Like, let me just give you an example for here at my household. I can experience something one day, whether it is a with divine bliss, peace, and intense love pouring in. And my husband can be feeling something opposite of that. And then, probably the next day or the next week, whatever, I am feeling pressed. Not, um, I don't see it as anything negative, but the association makes me feel low. When you feel low, it's kind of negative. So, um, it's total opposites. And isn't that what I have been talking about anyway? With especially the pillars here. The pillars represent good and bad, light and dark. The opposites. And if you can unite and be neutral in the center, be love in the center, because divine love, pure love, and when you are a master, of pure love everything exists the way it is supposed to everything exists um, and you have a choice at where you stand um, and this is where I continue on yet the common ground within us will be understanding of what's going on so some experience negative effects while others positive effects total opposites here. Yet the common ground within us will be understanding of what's going on. Understanding comes from what's received within the heart. And this is where we currently are. Absorb understanding and experience the common ground or the middle pillar of King Solomon's temple. We are always trying to find the common ground. Neutrality. Balance. Especially here on this journey. Uh, but whether or not you're on a spiritual journey to your soul's purpose or existing as a regular human being, we're trying to function in a common ground where we all can exist, where we all can have peace, freedom, in our heart's desires. The common ground is the heart. And that's where we are. Uh, we are definitely building in this heart. Um, and so I have been noticing that where I currently am, I, and I mentioned this in a couple of my other videos, that we will begin to, because of the um, last months and this month's whenever it actually began it could have been in july as well where we tapped into opening up um the tapped into the pineal gland the pituitary gland the um, rainbow bridge the bindu the alta major we have done some serious work here people 
we have done some serious work. And it's time for us to embody it all. We have really done a lot. Can you imagine? And this isn't easy. This is very time-consuming. Yet, when you look back, when I look back, it's only been two years for me. Uh, from my awareness of it to now. Two years, and I have done tremendous because I live every day as best as I possibly can from my heart, and I eliminate my ego. Um... And so what I have noticed is that because of we are being um, in that integration process of activating now to be able to, when we integrate, it means we are able to use and utilize the chakras that we have opened, activated, connected, etc. And also tap into the gifts that are associated with those. So because the pineal gland and pituitary gland are now functioning properly, we have uh, begun to receive essence, the life essence, um, the spinal fluid, the colostrum, um, the Holy Spirit, the life force energy is now actually going through our veins um, our organs, every cell, every um, everything that our physical form has. We are going to, um, our weight is going to either steady. I was one who gained weight quite drastically. I was a fitness coach exercising my 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 um, um, my bar off um, and it came on suddenly and thankfully I didn't beat myself up and understood something made me understand the process and I guess it's because the process of me losing the weight which still was a fast pace from what I had to um, lose um, but I already had that type of mindset of staying within the process. Um, so you may either begin to lose weight because you have gained weight in your ascension process, or you may begin to gain weight because you've lost weight in your ascension process. You know, don't, I, I hope you're not saying, I wish I were those per people who, who lost weight. Please don't wish that because what is happening for you is made specifically for you for a reason. Um, and you never know if the other individuals out there who are the ones who have lost a lot of weight, how they feel about it. Because that might make them feel insecure and lacking in this process, unattractive, unloved, unworthy. Um, so... It's so important to just be within your own journey, no matter what it is. I have began, and this has been about a good month, maybe maybe longer, where I began to see things subtly. Sparkles, my skin would come on and off, and it would begin to glow. I look would look like I was, you know, always glistening with a rainbow. Um, as if, you know, so I took that, those, that powder they used to sell, um, and make you, you know, sparkle all the time. Um, and some days I would shine more and some days I wouldn't. And, um, of course, you know, my skin and my hair, all that has improved throughout my process here. My teeth have improved, um, the white, they're whitening up and my skin tone is tightening up again. I feel as if I'm working out again when I'm not, other than my normal everyday living. But it's going back. It feels 
I feel more fit like I was whenever I had stopped exercising to go into being fully focused and dedicated to my spiritual journey. And so I've realized some days I, I barely have a belly. And then some days it's extended again. Not too much, but still noticeably. I'm not talking about bloat or anything, yet that has been a part of my, my process, which got very um, excruciating there sometimes. And now I want to explain that. Of course, you know, the vital fluids that are pouring in is going to taper this off. It's going to make it where it's supposed to be for your journey. And you're going to be built beautifully. Know that. Believe in that. Even if you feel or others feel that you are over overweight, know that your structure, your body, your temple is divine. And it is the way it's supposed to be for you, your purpose, for God. What others, others think is about their own insecurities and their doubts and etc. Um, their viewpoints on how individuals are supposed to look. Now, I want to explain how the actual energy part of it is. And you'll notice this. The heat builds and builds and builds in the purpose of that intense heat of the force energy is to purify. Now, although we are towards the um, cooling down phases, you're going to have still intense heat rise and cooling. Now, for the, a lengthy period of your process, you are going to be hot and hot and so hot. You're going to be boiling, and that is necessary. There's a lot of purifying that needs to be um, completed. And it's going, the purpose of it is to expand you so that light can filter through. The heat is purging out what doesn't belong and making you feel all kinds of these emotions, making you remember things and making you eliminate them. And it will come in all forms of kind of disgusting things. Boils I have experienced to boils like you won't believe. Um, rashes, um, food sensitivities, you know, constipation and or diarrhea, uh, nausea, heart burn, headaches, sinus, everything. It's going to make you feel as if you are a walking, living, breathing, diseased case of the worst type. And you're finally going to get to a point where you're just completely cold. I have been cold, and not all the time. I don't mean completely. I don't know. Maybe one day I'm, I am going to be cold all the time. I don't know. I read something somewhere, and I'll have to tap into that um, later. But I am now at that stage of cooling, and that's why I'm losing. I haven't gotten on the scale. I feel thinner. I feel lighter. Because when you think of light, and I'm not talking about sunlight because that's hot. Light is coming from outer space. And imagine it being so cold. Pureness. Light is pure and raises you to be this coldness. Um, and it's evening out your temperatures. So I, I'm thinking in time, our temperature is going to be evened out. We're going to not be hot, not be cold. We're going to be able to, if it's cold out, create heat within us to um, balance our elements of being hot or cold. And if it's cold, you know, the vibe opposite of that 
it's going to do that too. I believe that's what I have actually read somewhere. But so when you think of heat, and just as this is exactly what they tell you when you go and have an injury, put heat then cold. The heat allows like your knee to kind of open up and expand and allows the swelling to go down. I always thought it was heat allowed it to go down, but actually heat creates more heat and boiling inside to hopefully loosen things. And then putting ice pack on tightens it down. And that's why now there's that new thing out there that's cold, cool sculpting that will burn fat by using ice. And this is, that's actually been used, you know, for a long time throughout um, the medical community and etc. Placing you in ice and diminishing your, your pain um, and making you um, more skinny. Um, so I have been more cold throughout the day than hot, yet I'm still hot, especially at night. I grow spiritually a lot at night. I still do so in the daytime, but it comes and goes in bits and pieces, or sometimes now it's, you know, 10 hours of being cold and then a hot spell. Or finally, I have a neutral ground sometimes within there. But for the most part at night, I am extremely hot until I wake up and I instantly get cold. So I, I just wanted to share that, and perhaps you've already thought about all of this, about the purpose of the heat and then the coolness, cold, um, which is the sun and the moon, um, which is the water and, and the fire, which is the Holy Spirit. And I hope it makes sense. I hope it resonates with you. Um, And I think that's all that I kind of had today or this evening. I'm making this video tonight, but I'm going to post it some other time. It could be a couple of days. So be on the lookout. And please make sure to watch the previous video to get more explanation uh, about living from the heart. And trying to, you know, before I let you go, you know, my viewpoint of living from the heart, I can say, yeah, I'm living from my heart. But I have to add, I'm living from my heart as best as I can. When we receive God's heart or God's message about, you know, our association of what we're supposed to be doing, if he's trying to connect or someone on his team is trying to connect, there's going to be a different type of emotion, a different type of love that pours in. And we have to be able to decipher between ourselves and Source. Um, and we're going to be able to understand that. Like right now, for myself, I'm talking to you guys, and I know it's coming from a place of love. This is nothing compared to divine love. And I can only hope that I can hold on to that divine love often, often. This is Christy. Much love, health, and healing your way. I am bringing purpose to your life. Take care.